create and assign IOs. Our objective is to create all the IOs needed for this air handling unit and assign them to the hardware. This air handling unit is similar to the Hello World plant sample provided in the application library. These are exactly the IOs to be created. Here they are arranged as per the application concept. If we now enhance the view with the chart strips you can see the aggregates in this plant. Here you can see the topology of the training installation and create a similar setup for your exercise. We will assign all the IOs to the onboard IOs of PXC4 device. Here is the list of the IOs with the channel numbers. Please take a note of it if you would like to do similar assignments. Let's move to the demo. We are in the engineering editor for a PXC4 device in the I.O. configuration task. There is a default plant in each device marked with a star icon. You can have multiple plants in a device but it is mandatory to have at least one plant. To add a data point you can use the context menu or the toolbar in the plant navigation view. In the Add Data Point dialog, choose the data point type and the signal type as required. Set the name and description by choosing it from the catalog or giving a user-defined name. This button links the name and description automatically. The link can be disabled by clicking on this button. Choose the desired unit. Click on OK to add this data point. The icon of the data point is gray because it is not yet assigned to the channel. To assign all the data points created all together you can click on the Assign All button. This will assign all the data points to the compatible channels and also create additional TXIO modules if necessary, as per the preferences set in the settings. Let's assign this data point manually to an onboard channel. When you drag the data point and bring it to the configuration area, all the compatible channels turn green whereas the non-compatible channels turn red. You can drop the data point to a compatible channel only. Now you can see that the icon changed to black. To save the effort of assigning the data point by drag and drop you can create the data point directly on the channel with this plus button. The same add data point dialog opens where you can enter all the required information. Here I am adding the next IO on our list. This data point has a black icon as it's already assigned to a channel. For the users who like the graphical view can also achieve the same results in an efficient way. Click on the channel to add the data point. Once the data point is created it could be assigned to a different channel by simple drag and drop. To view the properties of this data point click on the three dots. And to unassign this data point click on the cross. You can bring the data point back to the channel. If you want to delete the data point then use the context menu in the plant navigation view. Let's see how we can change the properties of a data point. Open the properties and choose for example the state text of the binary output. It is possible to set an user-defined state text or choose one from the catalog. Click on OK to apply the changes. Once all the data points are configured, click on the check button to validate the configuration. You can see all the checks performed in the log viewer.
Do not forget to add all the data points required before moving to the next step. You are at the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.